December 7, 1862. It lasted about 10 hours and it happened along this ridge line. And it was a long front with both um, cavalry and artillery action. And it was a lot of infantry. Uh, 2,000, 2,700 men died in less than 10 hours. The boarding house is where a significant part of the fighting happened, and it's where our reenactment is staged about, and it's on the historic uh, register of historic um, landmarks and houses, and it doesn't date back to the Civil War, because the Union Army burned the house the day after the battle. The boarding house was burned, and then the Bordens lived with their grandfather, uh, the Hughes, Hughes Rogers, who lived along the ridge. And all the families who lived along the ridge were connected or kin to the Rogers family. And then in 1868, 1868, the boarding house was rebuilt on the same foundation of the previous house.
do this to honor our brave Confederate ancestors. Um, they gave everything for us, and they fought for our freedom and independence, and this is the way that we honor their memory. Um, in this day and age, uh, people have forgotten about uh, Confederate veterans, and uh, when they at the same time honor our veterans from uh, uh, First World War, Second World War, Vietnam, Korea, <laughs> which they deserve honors, but, all, but our ancestors are forgotten. And um, we want to make sure and keep their memories alive because they fought for a righteous cause, and, and uh, we're, here, we're here to preserve their memory. So what was that righteous cause they fought for? That righteous cause was states' rights and uh, freedom from uh, oppressive government. Uh, people just don't study, they don't read the history of it, and people just don't care. What did it take for guys to to actually stand up and, and uh, form these regiments and, and engage in these kind of battles? I mean, I'm talking about the intestinal fortitude to stand there. Tell me about that. What do you think? As you're out there on the line, looking at a guy not too far from you, is that easy to do? Would that have been tough? What What do you think? It It wouldn't have been tough for them, but it took a lot of intestinal fortitude. They did it because they wanted to be free. They was tired of being oppressed by the northern states and letting the northern states get all the profits and, and get they got money hungry in the north did and they started robbing the south they, they didn't give us uh, no taxpayers money all the north was pretty much pretty much what it is like today all industrialized and the south is mainly small rural areas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do you think you, you guys think that the uh the guys were made of a different uh, stuff than we are today. Yeah. That would be able to... Yes, they are definitely made of a different kind of stuff. Why? It's, it's Why do you think? They they slip in tents, 13, 5, 10 degree weather, it didn't matter, snow on the ground. They marched. Rain, sleet. Rain, sleet, <coughs> snow. They marched everywhere they went. Nowadays, soldiers, they get to ride around in Humvees and stuff. It took a lot. Then have some some didn't have shoes in the winter time. And, and a lot of them didn't have food back then. I've lost my food. They okay. had very small rations of food. Except the scavenge for it and things like that, huh?
So where are you guys from? Where's your? Louisiana. Yeah, we're from Louisiana. Yeah, we're from Louisiana. Okay, how far is that from here? Oh, we're right, right, right about eight hours, 250 miles, okay. 300 miles. We're like like a that. mile from the border of Arkansas. Okay, so it's worth it for you guys to travel eight hours to get up here to do this type of thing? More than worth it. Yeah, about maybe about eight hours. Um, okay, I heard maybe. somebody say more than worth it. Why is it more than worth it? Huh? Why? This is fun. Everybody should be required to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because, I mean, this, you can't beat. You're out here in God's country. It's cold, yeah, but it's okay, you have a little bit of appreciation for what your ancestors went through 140, 130, 150 years ago. Uh -huh. They want to look at your gun. <laughs> of course. Broke. That's what I'm... Well, I appreciate you guys coming up. We're really yeah, but, you know, I mean, the main reason why we do this is to honor our ancestors and everything. I mean, it's real. It's a lot of fun, but it's ancestors what matters to us. You know, it's what they did for us, and we're not going to let that die down. What about history? Is the history important to remember? Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. It is very important. Why? So they mm. won't... Never forget. Yeah, never. just, you know, never forget what happened back in the past, you know? George Santiana says those that don't remember history are doomed to repeat it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. However, at the same time, uh, what was right in um, 1776 was right in 1861 and is still right today. Uh, the way I see it. Okay. Okay. Let's swing around here and what do you think, young man? Me? Why do you, why do, you do this? Do it to honor my ancestors. They did this for, for fight for a cause that was right to me, and I I do it to kill me a couple of Yankees. Now, <laughs> what about the uh, the race racist issues and things like that? What do you think about that? That's not associate. That's not associated with SEV. The battle. The war was fought over states' rights. The north. The north was getting. The north was getting all the profits from taxes, and the south they was kind of left in the dark. The North was more industrialized and the South was mainly cotton. And slavery didn't have nothing to do with it. If the South was won the Civil War, a couple of years later probably, we would have let the slaves go free. Mm -hmm. I had no doubt yeah, in my mind about war. that. I mean, of course. We've had, there was. Of course, the South, yes, the South had slaves, but of course, did the North. There was, there was actually black regiments that fought for the South that wanted the uh, Confederacy to free win. Free willing. We really 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 fought in the war. Why do you think that history is not being told? Because the North because North of the government. They say, the to the victor they? goes the spoils. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, to the victor goes the spoils. Whoever wins they the war gets to write the, the books. Guys. 